Okay, what we have here, hopefully you can see, we have a stack switch, actually two of them. One has an outlet on the top, one has a switch on the bottom. That's fan, bathtub light, overhead light. And you might say, well, it's working. Yeah, it is. But when you get moisture, or sometimes, I mean, I'm, I'm barely touching that switch there, and the light, the fluorescent light's flickering, and you can hear it buzzing. Um, that's not good for the bulb at all. And uh, I changed this once before, probably about 12, 12 years ago. 10 years ago maybe, 10, 12 years ago. Um, no, I'm not turning the breaker off. Let's see. These things here, they're hard to find, but they're awesome. Socket insulators, because there is a heck of a draft that comes through here. The brand I do have in here is an Eagle, which they're known for stripping out screws and just higher failures. And I mean the old brand, because they're not Eagles anymore, they're uh, Coopers. But you have failures. Okay. And that stuff you hear fall on this plastic. Now, the reason I'm changing this live on the fly is one, I don't know which breaker it is because this is tied into another circuit and two, uh, it's just easier. So you very carefully pull that out and you'll see on this one, we've got three wires. That single wire there is your common, that is your hot. The one on this side That goes to the bathtub light, that goes to the fluorescent light overhead. You probably can't see what I'm doing over there, but I'm going to go ahead and very carefully sever the live wire from the back of this. And in these old houses, you have metal boxes. And you do not, if you're working with the live wire, you do not, you do not want to touch it and you do not want to ground it out against the side of the box because that's just just messy and should you do this live no but the reason i'm doing it live is i've been doing it for a number of years one number two uh sometimes you have to you might be in that situation so i figure it's better you to see when I take these out, I recreate what's called the shepherd's hook, which is what I'm doing now. It's a good idea because once copper is nicked, um, save the hot wire to the last, once, uh, once it's nicked, it's... Uh, it could potentially break. Okay. And sometimes what you gotta do is take your needle nose pliers. And guide it onto that screw. Just like that. We have our live wire, created a shepherd's hook, which is what I call it. Now all we want to do is very carefully without bumping anything. I'll bend that in some there.
There we go. I swear they make devices cheaper these days. Leviton used to be my brand, but now it's PNS, and these PNS devices aren't. Uh, they're a little bit flimsy. But you want to go ahead and start your screws. Don't forget when you're putting these in, sometimes if you crank the screw down too far, it won't let your cover plate sit quite right. So you can go ahead, back it off half a turn. They aren't going to be perfect. These are plaster walls. And That's it.